Hello my friends here from Panama City Beach, Florida. Today is Saturday and it is the 3rd of February, I believe. And this is what we see here right now in our skies. It's about 4.20. At this moment, the short sun should be behind there, this area. Let's go down here. You will see how cloudy the skies are. It's not really windy. Temperature are pleasant right now. So I hope we catch something later on here and I can catch some really good pictures for you guys here today. I don't know how much we actually can see today, how much I can catch because like I said the clouds are very very tight. There's almost no space for the sun actually or whatever we would see in the sky to come out. But I will stay here for a while and then we see maybe we have luck and we still can catch something to a later time. It is still early and we still have almost another hour. So um, hopefully we catch something. The other thing is actually I would like to talk to you guys a little bit about our current situation here. Which includes the pole shift. And um, I know by now you might be all have heard about it and you all have read about the pole shift, what science say about that. It's going on around the whole world right now. Scientists and astrophysics and astronomers and other people coming together at this moment and are sharing their thoughts on it. So yes, my friends, with the um, pole shift, let me go back here. Um, I was just talking, but then I saw that my camera was actually not running, so I have to start all over again. So by the time right now, you guys are all aware that something is going on uh, with our Earth's axle, with our um, weather, with the jet stream, and everything actually what would have to do with our globe. If we look at the skies, we don't see the, the stars no more, where the stars actually should be where they have been uh, observed and put on star maps. And if you are at the same location over several years and you actually be an observer of the stars and your surrounding, then you should be aware of that the stars are not placed no more where they should be. That means in plain English, the stars are still there at the same place, but it is the Earth which is wobbling around, turning and moving away. And uh, this is not a process which goes from one day to the other day. It started already, um, I believe, a couple of years ago. Um, I do not have the exact date on it. I think nobody really have. But if you are observing the stars and your surroundings and you would ask some of these Native Americans, uh, Eskimos, a lot of people there are living together, you know, in, in peace with and harmony with their surroundings and and um, are a little bit more aware of this was going on as we are 
If you ask them, they would tell you that nothing is no more there where it should be. And um, this is scary in a way because, you know, I have seen it over those years uh, a lot of times. Just let me stop here for a moment. An helicopter is coming back here. I, I am a photographer over 30, 35 years now. Uh, I started out as a hobby photographer and then, you know, I was doing some more research and educated myself. So I can say uh, over those years, I was taking thousands and thousands and thousands of pictures of our sun, our surroundings, and um, everything. I took a lot of pictures about animals and wildlife and people and I cannot even say no more, you know, it is too much. But over those years, I start being aware of it, that the sun is out of place, the way the sun comes up, is moved to a certain degree, and where the sun goes down is not the place no more where the sun actually should go down. And uh, the same with our star system. If you look it up and you're a little bit interested, you know, in our stars, then you would know that the stars are also out of place. They have moved, I would say, 25, 35 degree away from the place we have taken photographs and pictures of them the last couple of years. And during those years, I have seen that the stars have moved away or actually it is the earth who is moving away and I think we're tilting southwest and uh, I can say that because because of my observing and recording and monitoring and I have also read written a lot of reports of um, other people in science, physicists, and astronomers, and, and hobby astronomers, and, 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 and other people, and they're all saying the same thing. And it's kind of scary because if our Earth is tilting like it did already thousands of years ago, then we are in danger for sure because it will bring a lot of more catastrophic event with it like we have already at this moment. It is not uh, to scare anyone here and be a fear monger or whatever. My dear friends, this is the truth and we have to live with the truth. And if you want to know the truth, I mean, I'm one of them who will tell you the truth. I'm not hiding behind anything. I have the same to lose that every one of you guys. I also have family, I have a home, I have a nice place to stay, and all this is in danger. The bad part about the whole thing and the whole situation is that nobody really knows when the pole shift take place all the way to the last moment. I believe right now we are in, in 25 to 35 degree position away from the North Pole where the North Pole actually should be. And in the next couple of weeks, months, I hope we have the time. It depends how the system, the planetary system, is moving on. 
how fast it will accelerate to pass the sun and stays in their orbit and to pass us. And the other thing is we don't need really to see those objects very close to us or that we can see them with our naked eye. Fact is these planetary objects their own magnetos felt their all their own sorry gravitational um, ability will push or pull it depends on the planetary objects against us or towards us so this is the fact here this is how it is right now and this is the discussion right now with a whole bunch of astrophysicists, phys physicists, excuse me, astronomers, and other people who are on this right now. And I'm pretty sure that our governments around the world, around the globe, are aware of the situation. And uh, let me say it like that, they are helpless in the same way actually that we are helpless. They maybe have some more resource where they can go and, 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 and <laughs> grab back on it and think they have themselves safe somewhere that they will be safe somewhere, that they have the ability with all the resources they have for longer survival. When the pole shift take place, but it doesn't mean that they are better off than we are. So with that said, please do me a favor guys, make your own research read a lot of about the pole shift they have some very very good reports out you can look back into it and you can touch up on it like i said i'm not the specialist here i just do the same research and monitoring like you guys do maybe with a little bit more background of my history of photography and observing the skies and know where to look for but everything else is same new for me and will be new for me like for everybody else so i'm going out here for a little bit talk to you guys later and hope we can catch something I have some spots here where I see the sun is coming out. I will hold on on this. You see there is a yellow spot, yellowish looking. Yeah, a little something and then there is the spot all the over there. Which I'm monitoring here. Yeah, the sun is still behind all those clouds. and. Like I said, I don't know how much we will see, how much we can catch here today. It won't be that easy. So right now I'm in the car, in my car for a little moment, just to take me a little break here. Yes, I was not so sure, guys, if I start talking about the situation or if I just let it be. But this is such an urgent situation and we should talk about that. 
And even like that um, takes a lot of preparation and also um, guts. Guts for the people, they have to prepare and guts for the people, they have to tell their family. Um, I don't know when actually the government is going to tell everyone what will happening if there will let us know before the event actually take place or if they just let it go by and act like they have no clue and they did not know actually what will happen by themselves I cannot say, I cannot talk for them but you all will come to a point where you all have to talk to your family, to your loved ones, and to your neighbors, and whoever you want to, you know, um, just tell and, 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 and make sure they are also prepared or are aware of the situation before might be it is too late and then you know things are going rapidly from one moment to the another moment without any stopping um, then it will be too late so for everyone who is open-minded and they see those changes in our weather pattern in our jet stream and all over the world the ocean receiving and 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 my dear friends these are the signs and um, we cannot talk those events away even if some people say it is nothing nothing going on everything is fine yeah. everything is the same you don't have to worry don't listen to them if they don't want to see it, if they don't want to believe it, that's fine with them. You just stay prepared and awake. And make sure you can do everything what is possibly in your power to take care of your family and friends and whoever you want to be with. Will be a hard time, my dear friends will be a hard time. I, I'm not going too deep into that here anymore um, because it's weekend and uh, I don't want to stress nobody out. I don't want to put nobody here in a depressive uh, um, situation, in a sad situation, but sometimes we have to talk about bad things and not always good things so and that's the reason why i was talking about it here today so let us watch a little bit more the skies and see if the sun is coming out and the planetary objects with her so that we can catch something later look at this beauty Look at this beauty of our, of our world. Everything is very, very beautiful. Nature is beautiful by itself. And it don't need us. It don't have to ask us for permission. It don't have to ask us for anything. Nature is doing what it want to do. This is beautiful here. Very beautiful. So let me uh, quick show you something here. Here on top we have an area which is very white, white color, white light is shining out here 
behind the clouds and then we just go one step lower there you see a little white and yellowish looking and a little bit lower here you see the same color and the sun rays how they're coming out out of these chemtrails and clouds and shining on the water very very pretty very beautiful this is a spot here with this white light I would like to keep my focus point on it A lot of things we see in the sky that doesn't make no sense. The white, the white light, like an LED light, and then close underneath. You see a different color. That's that's weird. The warm, warm yellowish-looking sun which I remember when I was a child is not there no more it's not there the pleasant feeling at everything in the afternoon the streets and the walls of houses and Everything where the sun was shining through was this nice yellowish looking color. And now everything is so is so different. Yeah, must be the sun there behind the clouds. I believe leave with a very close binary twin, sun twins. This is not only our sun, my friends. Whatever is close with the with her, whatever is in front, whatever they're doing, this is never ever our sun, unless our sun is growing so big and bigger and bigger which would be not a good sign which would be actually a very bad sign for all of us our sun would grow in masses and but then again this is not what I have heard this is not what the reports are saying they say it is a solar minimum at this point and that our sun is about to go dark and then on the other hand yes I can agree with it I can believe that this is the case because all the filaments of the sun and the corona holes and all these alignments within the sun the sun is really very dark it's it's I don't know it's unbelievable things are changing 
things are changing. I will show you guys again the dark clouds here on the side. You see the horizon. You see it's light. Light is coming out from these clouds and chemtrails. And our sun and whatever else is behind there shining out here actually really pretty very pretty yeah, I believe this Video clip will be one of the longer ones, my friends. But um, I can't help it because this is so beautiful. And I just need to go on here with my, with my filming. I don't know if you can see that right in the middle of my screen here right now it looks like there's a round glowing object but it also could be just a um, light reflection one of those weird chemtrails and go here to the side let me show you again what I see here that's is a very nice light oh, spectacle I would say you know this is this is so pretty very pretty I hope I can catch the whole scenario If you don't want to look at my old video clip, that's fine guys, you always can, you know, scroll forward and just go to the spot where you think it's more important to see, but I will put out the whole, the whole clip, the whole video recording. with this awesome awesome light here and with these dark clouds and then the light is coming out. I will go back here because I think the sun is about to come out. She is there all the way up here. You see my my lens flare pinkish and this gr green little dot underneath the recording and I hope this is all what we have on lens flares here at this moment. I forgot my tripod actually today because I thought the weather will be not good enough that I uh, cannot catch anything that the clouds maybe are all over the place and I cannot spot anything but I'm surprised here right now of this what I can capture here and I'm actually happy that I came came down here. Yeah, the funny thing is the sun is not shining down no more here. 
You see a reflection here in the water, yes. But you don't see the rays here coming down. But the rays are going all the way here to the side. Which is kind of strange. Give the whole scenario such a mystic... <laughs> mystic... Uh, um, outlook here. If I can say it like that. stop here again for a moment can I stop for a moment yes I think I can stop for a moment here I'll be back here in a little bit I don't know if you guys can see that and I hope uh, later on when I review my clip it is visible here because there are two color two colors right now in the water close to each other the one is a very white color and right beside the white color is actually an orange yellow looking color like two different sources are shining onto the water I hope you can see it later on what you see here right now will be I believe is the rest of the sun here today because like you can see underneath all the way down to the water right there there is all these black 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 dark blackish chemtrails like you can see here and here on top was the sun still behind some of these chemtrails maybe she's already gone and it's a little bit lower there in the middle right now is this little spot what we had already before a couple of times. This little area here, which always looks kind of, kind of strange, funny. It's right above. You see these clouds, they have in the strangest formation, the strangest shapes. So it's hard to say what is there and what not. The sun is already gone. It's behind those chemtrails here, behind this line, right there. And when this little part is gone too, then there is nothing for us what we can see anymore because like I said chemtrails underneath they're going from the sky all the way down to the water there are two thick and there will no sunlight come back out of it there you see, everything is almost gone. This is the rest here, almost above me, and this all the way high up. Funny, strange looking orbs. Formation of the clouds are so strange. That's it, my friends. Sun is gone. You see, there's the water. And above the water, it's... It's dark. 
That's from here today, my friends. I hope you enjoyed my clip like always. Stay safe, my dear friends. Get prepared if you have not started it already. Make sure you have all your things together and in order. Watch the cell phone users, like I always say. Stay safe, have a good night. I see you all later day, later time, another date. Bye bye, me from here in Florida, Panama City Beach.